Rain arrived to his office building in a good mood. He was smiling to everyone he meets along the way. But when he entered his office, the curtains were still closed and when he glanced at Ariane's cubicle, he found it empty. Rain happened on Raymond, Dale's assistant, who was talking on his phone and asked where Ariane was but he said he hadn't seen her coming. After Rainy left, he called on Dale and said, Master Dale, Sir Rainy is now looking for Ariane. I suppose Ariane is not coming for work. After the call from Raymond, Dale seemed not surprised for he was expecting to see Ariane and Rain's breakup. Randy felt terrible that moment. He was considering the thought of knowing Ariane's condition or he would just let it go. To make her feel guilty of refusing him in a while later, he changed his mind that he asked someone from the secretarial pool to call for Ingrid to see him. Ingrid came immediately to Rain's call but wasn't sure what to say about Ariane. She entered the office pretending not to know anything about Ariane's feelings regarding their relationship. Hand over to me the key to the apartment, Ingrid. I wanted to talk things over with Ariane, and please, don't tell her I'm coming. Do you get what I mean, Ingrid? Yes, I do understand because I also want you both to settle this thing between the two of you. My poor friend is suffering much already, Sir Rain. Meanwhile, Ariane couldn't get over the video she saw on the phone and it made her cry once more. She felt like she was stabbed deeply through her heart and she couldn't accept the fact that she was played by Rain whom she loved and trusted. As soon as Rain entered the apartment, he ascended the stairs lightly and crept towards her bedroom so he wouldn't be noticed by Ariane. But his heart melted when he heard Ariane sobs when he walked close to her bedroom. He stood by the door but was hesitant for a second then he turned the knob and silently came in unnoticed. His heart melted when he saw Ariane weeping helplessly. He quickly ran to her, sighed to comfort her. Rainy took her in his arms and embraced her tightly, whispering, I'm here, babe, it's all right now. But it was different for Ariane. She stared then slashed at him with sharp words, liar, you still have the nerve to say it's all right, liar. Rainy was startled. Why do you call me a liar? I can't remember lying to you. I did nothing to lie about, babe. You didn't lie to me. Is cheating not a lie? You cheated on me. Just because I didn't give in to your desire that you have to cheat on me. Why? Why Rain? Rain was speechless. He felt sorry, but he doesn't want to admit it. He kept his embrace on Ariane, but he couldn't say a word. Ariane stared at him and said, Do you think I'm making this up? She moved away and hand the cell phone to him. Ariane opened the phone and showed the videos. Rainy was shocked and couldn't believe his eyes. How in the world was this taken? You tell me. Whoever took that only showed your true color. Just because I refused your advances, you have the excuse to look for someone who can give you what you want, is that it? Rainy was at a loss for words because the videos clearly showed something he couldn't explain. This was just a random date. I was hurting and frustrated. But it's over now. This is nothing serious, babe. Rainy stammered, ashamed of himself. Ariane interrupted, because I didn't give in. You want me to just do as you wish, is that it? Did you ever love me, Rain? There, you already found someone who could fulfill your need for a night of being denied. It was easy for you to fool around, disregarding my feelings and disrespecting my boundaries. You only played me. I'm sorry for believing you cared for me and loved me sincerely. She calmed herself down, heaved a deep breath and spoke. It would be better for us to give each other some space. I'll give you time to rethink if I am the right woman for you. Ariane sniffles as she paused a while then continued, based on what was in that video, I am not the right woman for you. Ariane firmly ended their conversation. Is that all, Ariane? Why was it easy for you to say such thing? 
What you saw was just a random date, a one-night stand and nothing else. You even gave her another day. That special engagement you shared with her yesterday only meant that you like her. It would have ended last night if it had just been a fling. Was I wrong in my judgment? I would be lying if I said I'm not interested in her. I only came to see her because I don't know. Ariane, let's stop this, okay? Please forget what you saw, and I will find out who sent those videos because that person wants to destroy us. Forgive me, babe. Please, it will never happen again. And now you're blaming the one who sent that video when it was you who started it. We should be grateful because if not for that video, we would have never known how we really feel about each other. Ariane was firm in her stance. I would be lying if I said I forgive you. It was so hurtful and disappointing that you broke that trust, the only foundation that could have made our relationship strong. This relationship won't last if it's based on a shallow and superficial foundation. I'm sorry, but we need space to think things over, Rain. How much space did Ariane request, and how far will it go? Part 54 follows. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. This inspires me to continue the journey of my characters as they thrive on. Don't miss following the next episode, and thank you for your continued interest. See you in the next series on YouTube at Victoria Marinovo or TikTok.